governor, the Lions International president of that year gave each of, our, of the governors a wristwatch. And he said, I want you to look at that wristwatch and every time you look at it, be reminded that you have that much less time to work for the good of humanity. And he said this, he said, if it were in my power, tonight I would give each of you $86,400. I would do the same if it were in my power. Unfortunately, it's not. But he said, there's a catch. $86,400, but you'd have to spend it every day. You couldn't carry one penny over to the next day. You couldn't put it in a CD to work for you. You couldn't put it in a money market. But it had to be spent every day. He said, if that were the bargain, what would you do? Well, I'll guarantee you what I was thinking is I would be out spending my money. I wouldn't be wasting any time. If I had $86,400 to spend every day, I couldn't carry a penny over to the next day. But every day, the deposit in my account would be that much money. But I'd lay up awake at night trying to figure out how to spend my money. And then he said this, and I shall never forget it, young people. He said, I can't give you $86,400, but the Lord gave you 86,400 seconds in every day. And you can't carry one second over to the next day. If you don't use it, you lose it. It's there, and then it's gone. Don't waste your time. Have an urgency to your life. Tonight is graduation night, but it's also a time of commencement. They seem to contradict each other. On the one hand, you're graduating. On the other hand, you are commencing. It's a time of hope, but it's also a time of despair. It's a time of excitement, but it's also a time of fear. It's a time for looking back, but it's a time for yearning ahead. Be open to new things and aware of the value of the difference. Avoid routine ruts and look for ways to make the mundane new and lively. Seek out the company of others unlike yourself. Learn to enjoy friends from different places, different cultures. Search for your own path. Use tradition as a guide and not as an excuse. And remember, do your very best at all times. Do what's expected of you and then some. Don't waste your time. And above all, never give up. Never give up. Congratulations to you, the class of 92. I'd like to take this opportunity to announce the scholarships that these students have uh, gotten for themselves. Uh, some of the scholarships are awarded by the colleges which the students will attend. We're so proud of them for seeking and applying for these uh, scholarships. We know you parents are too. All right, we'll start with Christina Adair. She was awarded the H.O. Clark Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $500. Christina will be attending UTA. Uh, Jason Alexander, ITT Technical. He was awarded a full tuition scholarship. Andy Barton received an anonymous scholarship for full tuition for four years plus books. Stoney Barton, isn't that good? Stoney Barton received the Student Council uh, Award for $200 and also the Class of 1980 scholarship for $500. Jennifer Carter won a scholarship for art at Texas Wesleyan College in the amount of $2,000. Yes. Julie Cashin, cheerleading mascot scholarship, $200. TSTA, Benny Joe Davidson scholarship for $1,000. Uh, Methodist Church in Burleson gave her two awards of $400 and $250. And Julie will be attending Texas Wesleyan College next year, this year. Miss Julie. Paula Eaton was awarded the National FFA uh, by Quaker Oaks scholarship for $1,000. Audrey Edwards was awarded the Cato Grove Masonic Lodge Scholarship in the amount of $100. David Flutie was awarded the Principal's Vocational Scholarship for the...